Hello, hello, fabulous goddesses and gods. How y'all doing? No, seriously. How you doing? Yes, you like my little tattoo? Yes. It's a henna tattoo. It's not real. I almost want it to be real, though, because this shit is dope as all get up. Do you see that? And how it goes to the back. Let me show you the back. Let me show you the back. Okay. okay. Yes. See the side? Just a little drippage. Yes. Dope henna, ATL. She is the creator of this. My girl, Miss Divine, blessed me this for my birthday. I and no worries, the reason why I didn't do Monday and Tuesday Chris of the day wasn't because I got too turned up. My energy was off. This weekend was so much fun, as in amazing, because um, I saw a lot and I learned a lot. I learned about, okay, what are the things that I want? Um, what are some of my standards? Um, being with my tribe and my family, how much fun I had, like being with my my soul family tribe and how they showed up. Uh, I really appreciated. They really put things in place of like, what does Nikki like? And I felt like I got to do the things that I like and they planned it in a way of like knowing like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. And then there was like some surprises that were disappointing you know I'm just gonna be very transparent you know and I had to work through that energy and that was very different for me to work through that energy and be in that and then also the different energies that were around me too so you know and it just made me feel bad because you know I was I was disappointed and in that disappointment it came with the energy that it came with and I can't hide my feelings or my energy very well because I like to be real and it is what it is and I can't be fake. So this, the weekend was trying in that way, but we were able to push through it. So what was really good about it, again, there were so many lessons learned, so many things and so many ways of me really identifying what do I really want? You know, and what am I manifesting? You know, and then also showing gratitude and appreciation with certain things, you know? And where do you see the gratitude and appreciation? It's really, I'm still decompressing to be honest um, because I, you know, um, really got alone time today you know to really think about everything so I'm still processing I even did my cards my cards are laying right here because I still need to figure this all out and I want to have patience with myself to allow myself to develop the feelings that I'm feeling right now to be fair and I guess I don't know why I'm out loud sharing this with you guys but that's my channel I'm always about being transparent about how I'm feeling and where I'm at. And sometimes it's not always so bubbly and happy. You know, there's shit that goes down. And I just felt the need to share with you guys um, and then how I processed it, you know? And I have the tendency to be a people pleaser and still make other people happy while I'm not really happy and try to force myself to do the things because I can feel that person wanting these things and you know, I told myself going into the new year, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to make sure I'm good because it's my job to give off this energy and this happiness. But if I'm down, I'm down and I need to do what I have to do to process and generate that. I can't give anything. You know, they say my cup was not, my cup was half full. My cup needs to be full and overflowing and then I can give from my saucer, you know, and I was not in a place to be able to give anything because I didn't have anything to give. Cause I was trying, cause I was even feeling guilty for the energy that I was feeling. Y'all know what I'm saying? Cause I don't wanna just keep going on and on. But I appreciate the weekend and what I learned. I appreciate that actually. And I believe everyone learned something that weekend and there's appreciation in that. 
So yeah, so then Monday and Tuesday came. I wasn't feeling the energy Monday. I was really just kind of thrown off, you know, and still processing. And then Tuesday, I tried to do Crystal of the Day. I actually had the recording and I had to do it twice because I wasn't feeling it. And I was in the middle of editing and I was like, no, this ain't it. And I am going to honor myself in the energies that I feel to give to you guys. So today I was like, I'm feeling it and I have something to give. And you know, I feel more like I can give. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stop now. <laughs> I give y'all crystal of the day um but uh yeah i'm i'm thankful i'm in a i'm in a state right now that i can be thankful and uh that's good that's good so let's get ready for crystal of the day time yeah. okay okay <sighs> thank you god thank you lord thank you Father. Thank you. What is our crystal for today? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 come on. Patience. Mm. Let's make sure this is clear for y'all. Can y'all see that? Yes. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. I'm feeling this on so many levels. Um, even when I had goddess time, patience popped up in my chakra. And um, that's when I knew I needed to stop. Because I wasn't being patient with my reading or understanding some things. And it was making me frustrated. So within my frustration, I needed to pull back. And be patient with giving myself that time to really understand everything and just go and flow. Sometimes I think we can sit with our shit for too long that we're not allowing ourselves to literally like go, you know? So let's find out what patience means for everyone as a whole. And let me know below if this resonates with y'all, okay? So we're gonna dive a little deeper, shall we? All right, so let's talk about pyromorphite. Pyromorphite is a rare, sought out after crystal with a unique and powerful medicine. A wonderful crystal for someone who requires assistance in finding more patience in life. It holds the medicine of self-esteem and assertiveness, encouraging you to listen to the voice within and make positive decisions and choices. This magical crystal encourages you to find a deeper belief and respect in self. Crystal meaning. Assist in creating more patience, allowing for deeper tolerance and understanding. Deepen, deepens your intuition and gut feelings. Encourages assertiveness and courage. Supports you to stand up for yourself, addresses issues of low self-esteem, and promotes a deeper belief in and respect for yourself. It might be a little louder because my neighbor decided to blast his music. And it sounds like he's inside, so. Anywho, let's dive even deeper, shall we? This powerful card and crystal reminds you that patience is required in certain aspects of your life right now. Trust and know that divine order is at play. Woo, Father God. At times it is easy to rush through life and wish to hurry things along. <laughs> However, at this time, you are guided to allow things to flow at their own pace. How many y'all feeling this? We gotta let it flow, y'all. If you have asked about a specific issue, you are being encouraged to hold back, be patient, and give it a little time and space before you make a decision. Woo! What just happened that I said about God's time? I couldn't figure it out and it said up impatient. Y'all, whatever situation you're going through right now, patience. Most high got us. Let's just walk away from it, okay? We're going to walk away together. 
Tune inward and be aware of and honor any frustration, impatience, or resistance that may arise in this process. Hand these feelings over to the crystal divas for their healing and transmutation. Take it. Yes. Take it away. It is yours. This battle is not ours. It's the Lord's. You can have it. Bye. Okay. Okay. Remember to breathe, center, and be patient with yourself and enjoy where you are at right now. Take a moment and trust that all is taking place at your highest good, even if it does not seem like it now. Patience is one of the great virtues and mastering it can truly set you free. Before you know it, the moment will flow by patience and will gift you with many blessings. This card can also remind you that patience is within you and around you right now. Well, y'all, that sums it. I don't think I have anything else to say. I said so much Schmidt in the beginning, but this helps me out a lot. And I hope it helps y'all, y'all. <laughs> and I hope it helps y'all. Um, if you're feeling impatient about that situation, again, let's just walk away together. I'm going to leave it here because, yeah, that's just it. I, I know when to stop. All right, so I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Let me know if this resonates. Later. Blessings.